What's going on guys? Today we are flocking the dash on Stevens RX-8. <laughs> Like I said, we're flocking the dash today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you all how to remove the dash panel so we can start this flock job. All right, guys, as Brian was saying, we're going to be removing this passenger side dash panel to flock it. So what you're going to need to do this is just a 10 millimeter socket ratchet flashlight. And let's get this under boy. So first things first, you're going to have to disconnect the battery because we are dealing with an airbag. And then uh, once that's done, you can go ahead and get back on the passenger side of the car here and get down inside. Um, you're gonna have to drop the glove box. There's a couple 10 millimeter nuts that are gonna have to come off and a connector. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So let's get down here and get to it. So what you're gonna have to do is uh, slide the seat back, go ahead and drop your glove box. On uh, glove box here, you got pressure point on each side. You push in and it'll come loose. Some of you will have a shock here. Mine is actually broken, so I don't have to deal with that. And then the glove box falls down and it just pulls forward. I don't know if you guys can see the U shape here. So once you drop it, you just pull it forward and it comes right out. So then once that's off, you just kind of set it out of your way. And then everything else is going to be up inside here. Let's see if we can get a good angle. All right, once you're up in here, this is going to be the airbag connector that you're going to have to disconnect. And then there's two 10 millimeter nuts up this way. I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see it on the video, but once we get it out, we'll be able to show you exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So on this airbag connector, you kind of just pull back and then it'll disconnect and then it's got a little plastic clip here that holds it to the metal trim and it should just pop out and pop loose and then you'll take your 10 millimeter ratchet take off these 10 millimeter nuts Or well, actually, they're bolts. My bad. Once you do that, the only thing that's left holding this in is going to be the clips around the edges. So you just grab here on this bottom side. It'll pop forward and up. It's kind of getting this. Well, oh, I missed another plastic clip. There's another little black class plastic clip that holds the wire. You gotta make sure you get. Pulls right on 
Now, once you get it out, you'll want to flip it over. And this is the actual airbag unit itself. And there's two more 10 millimeter nuts that come off and then this airbag will come out. And then we'll have the panel that we can send off. Have our friend, as Brian mentioned, see what he can do with these cracks and then we'll get back with you on flocking. All right, then it, this is how you're gonna take this airbag out. Once you get it out, you'll wanna flip it over on, set it on something that's not gonna scratch it, either your legs, towel, something. Take these two 10 millimeter nuts off. Take this little metal bracket right here off. And then it kind of lifts up and pulls off. Same way on that back side, you just lift the whole airbag and it flips out. Just like that. Now with this airbag, you can actually set this back down inside and plug it in so your airbag light doesn't come on. And you can drive it while you're working on your dash. And yeah, then if you want to drive it without having your airbag light on while you're working on your dash panel, you can actually put this back in and uh, just like you'll set it back down in this mount and run your two bolts that you uh, took off back in. So we'll set it back down. And then you go on the bottom side and put those two bolts that you took out back in and plug it in and you're good to go until you get your dash panel fixed. All right, guys, we did get that dash pad removed. We're gonna send this off, see what he can do with it. The cracks won't be 100% gone, uh, even when he's done with it, but at least when we flock it, maybe it'll hide some of it and it won't look so bad. But anyways, we're gonna send this off. We'll see you all in about a week. All right, guys, it has been a week. We did get the dash pad back. I'm gonna show it to you right now. So as you can see, cracks, are still there it's just not as noticeable so whenever we flock this in a little bit hopefully it covers it all the way up and it's not going to look so bad all right guys as brian was saying we got our dash panel back here and uh we're going to go ahead and start flocking it uh we got i got a flock kit off amazon for like 35 bucks comes with a, a glue a brush some suede material that'll actually be peppered onto it and then your flocking gun It'll come with instructions on exactly how you do it, but obviously I'm gonna give you a rundown now of how we're gonna do this. Uh, make sure your part is lifted, elevated, where you can get every edge that you're gonna wanna flock. Uh, clean it, and then we're gonna start putting the glue on. So we've already done all that, so let's get at it. you will need a screwdriver to get our flathead to pop this glue open. Make sure you shook up real good. Got some black, black glue here. All right, now once we get that done, then uh, put your lid back on your glue, obviously. Got to move this stuff out of the way so you don't get any cloth on it. And then let's see how this goes.
sucks off. Guys, the, I don't think the camera can do this justice enough. This looks incredible. It looks a thousand times better than it did before. Wow. All right, now once you get that done, it takes 10 to 15 hours to dry, so we'll get back with you after it gets done drying. All right, guys, we're back. It's been a couple days since we done the flock job. Plenty of time for it to dry. As you can tell, it turned out pretty good. Can't even see the crack. Feels nice too. So Brian's gonna film. We're gonna do a quick fast forward through the install. And as you guys already seen, let's take it out. So same just going back in. guys here's the finished product looks really good yeah you can't even see the crack at all where the airbag was that's why it looks super neat in there super clean I highly recommend it to anybody with an RX-8 that has a cracked dash right there I mean it just makes it look so much better Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video of us flocking the dash on this RX-8. Steven's car will be in more videos to come in the future on the channel. And I, in the link in the description box down below, I'll link our Instagram so you can follow us. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all videos coming out. Until next time.